Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. For today's Showcase Saturday, we're going to be showcasing the Bobbi Brown Stonewashed Eye Palette that I recently picked up. So if you're curious to see how I created this look, keep watching. This is the Bobbi Brown Stone Washed Nudes Palette that I picked up a few weeks ago at Macy's. I'm really, really excited to give this palette a try. This palette is definitely my color story. I think the inside shades are just beautiful. So I do already have eye primer on. I went ahead and used the Charlotte Tilbury um, Matte Eyes to Mesmerize and I have shade Nude Cashmere. So it's literally just basically the color of my eyes. Um, I did put that down just to kind of give a base or like a blank canvas. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna use the lightest shade first and we'll go in the crease and we'll just kind of build it up from there. I'm going to take my Sony G Classic Crease. Now this shade is very, very light. I'm not expecting it to give me much coverage at all, but it will be a nice base for the eye. So the first shade that I use is called Malted and then the second shade is called Hot Stone. And again, we're just going to keep building up that crease. I think this would be an easy everyday palette for work. It's so easy. The formula seems to be applying nicely. I haven't noticed any patchiness. They seem to be blending really nicely. Take my Sony G Mini Booster and go into the darkest shade, and it is called Espresso. I'm positive I've had probably most of these shadows in my collection at one time, or still do in other palettes. I'm not certain that any of these shades are brand new. So I'm going to use the classic crease to go back in and diffuse that espresso just a little bit more. And I will go in and do the same thing to the other eye. So now I'm going to go in and swatch all of these for you. So I'm going to start with this shimmer and it is called Chiffon Sparkle. And I wanna kinda of feel the texture of these. That is definitely a topper shade. I probably won't get much use out of that shade. The next shade is that matte that I initially used, Malted. And then the next is a shimmer called Maple Sugar. It actually says it's a metallic. And then this is Hot Stone, which is another matte. And then last is Espresso. I think let's take that metallic eyeshadow in shade Maple Sugar. And we'll put that down on the lower eyelid and then we'll maybe we'll top it with that topper. <laughs> You guys know how I feel about those topper shades. They are not my favorite. I don't care what brand they are. I just don't like toppers. So I'm going to go in with a Chantecaille Shade and Sweep and place that on the lower lid. It looked to be about the same color as Malted, just a little bit lighter. But I think when applied, they're going to be about the same. It's not very brightening. I wish it was a little bit brighter to give me a little bit of a highlight there. I'm gonna go back in with the classic crease. I'm gonna go in, mix Hot Stone and Espresso. I think at this point what I wanna do is go ahead and apply eyeliner 
and then we'll come back and look at it and see about maybe adding that topper. For eyeliner, I have the Bobbi Brown Perfectly Defined Gel Eyeliner, and I have shade Chocolate Truffle, which is my favorite. So that's what Chocolate Truffle looks like. It's just a perfect, really deep chocolate brown shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this on off camera and then we'll be back to finish off the eye look and then we'll go ahead and put on mascara. There is the eye look with the eyeliner on. Eyeliner makes a huge difference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a refer number three. I'm gonna go into that espresso shade and I'm just gonna take it underneath the eye I'm now going in with that hot stone shade. And now in the inner corner, I'm gonna take that metallic shade. I don't think that it needs the topper shade, but I am just gonna apply just a little bit and I'm gonna use my finger. So again, this is called Chiffon Sparkle. Yeah, it doesn't really add much. I would prefer a creamy highlight shade, kind of like the um, Natasha Denona formula. I love her creamy highlight shades. It's not bad. I do like it, and I still think for an everyday look, I think this is perfect. I would just maybe not use the Sparkle Topper shade. Now I'm going to put some mascara on. I have the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I really like this mascara. I think it's really good. There's the finished eye look. I really like it. I really do. While I'm not a big fan, like I said, of that topper shade, I do think that the other shades are very, very neutral and very everyday. What do you guys think? Have you guys tried Bobbi Brown? It's been a while since I've really used a lot of Bobbi Brown. I'm wearing one of her highlights today and I do really, really like them. I think they're gorgeous and I'm excited to try some more of her products. For lips, because my eyes just slightly, oh, my eyes are a little bit smoky, I'm going to go ahead and just put on a quick gloss. Now, I know this video is all about the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow, but we're here. I need to put lipstick on, so let's just do it together. So I have Chanel. This is the Rouge Coco Flask from Chanel, and I have shade 158 Dawn. It's just a really, really pretty nude. I really, really like it. Um, this was limited edition. I do not believe that it is still available. I apologize for using something that you guys cannot get. I just thought it was a perfect lip color to go with this eyeshadow palette. So there you go. There's today's Showcase Saturday where we showcased the Bobbi Brown Stonewashed Nudes Eye Palette. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.